one of my favorite states in the U.S. From the amazing reddish-orange glow of the landscapes to the towering, mighty, iconic saguaro cactus to the southwest architecture of these charming towns, it's there's something just so beautiful and unique about Arizona that I have a personal connection to because my grandpa actually grew up in Douglas, Arizona, a border town, and then both my grandparents lived in Tucson for many years. So. As a kid, as a kind of preteen and teen, I would come out about once or twice a year to, to check it out. Earlier this month, I had a chance to go back for the first time in a very long time to visit some old friends, as well as some new film photography friends that I met. And so what I'm gonna do in this video is actually take you on a trip of some of those towns that we visited and the film photos that we took along the way. So I hope you enjoy. <music> Once I arrived in Phoenix, I met up with my friends Lucy and Nate, a film photographer, husband and wife, based in Phoenix, Arizona. We made our way towards Miami, Arizona, but first we stopped at this cool spot. Can I do a quick look through with the GoPro? Oh yeah. I love these shots because they feel just like a classic western with a rusty metal windmill in front of a beautiful mountain backdrop. Next, we hit the road for Miami, Arizona. Downtown Miami was really interesting because it had a lot of classic cars and this old gas station along with some interesting buildings including these ones that had paintings of cats everywhere. <laughs> I love the panos that Lucy took on her Pentax 67 using 35 millimeter film. We ran across this building that had probably about 50 air conditioning units, as well as this old YMCA with a creeper in the window. And before heading to our next destination, we wanted to get a bird's eye view of Miami. Next up, we headed towards Superior, Arizona to capture Golden Hour. Next stop is Jerome, Arizona, which was an old gold mining mountain town, which happens to have great climate for wineries. For the second half of the trip, I was solo and unfortunately got a little sick, so I didn't get as much footage as I wanted to for this portion. love this building here. Something about the grass, the decaying building, and the mountains in the background really drew my attention. Mm -hmm. 
With Halloween just weeks away, Jerome had the spooky vibes on point. I absolutely love this old abandoned gas station and convenience mart that said open 24 hours. And the last stop I was in, I stayed in Sedona, Arizona. If you've been to Zion or Grand Canyon, you know that there's a lot of red rocks there, which was very similar to how I saw Sedona. Chapel of the Holy Cross is a must-see on your way to Sedona. I'm doing this a little backwards, but the last couple photos I'm going to share is from the beginning of the trip. On the way to visit my friends, I saw this Greenway Auto Service Center and I just had to take a photo. We did a before noon hike on Lookout Mountain in Phoenix, and let me tell you, it was one of the hottest hikes I've ever done because it was 100 degrees. Well, thanks for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed watching the different towns and different films shot on this trip. Let me know in the comments what your favorite town was and what your favorite film I, sh I shot or Nate or Lucy shot. Or if you've been to Arizona and have more recommendations of cool places to go and film you've tried, I would love to hear and see about it. So if you liked the video, I hope you check out some other content I've had. I've done a few other travel film videos as well as film photography comparisons on the channel. And if you really like the content, I would appreciate if you subscribed. Thank you and happy shooting.